Hello and welcome back to Nerdy Nerds. I am James and there is drama in the Pokemon community. So as you all are aware, this past weekend, Leonhardt had his pop-up shop and there was a huge uproar coming from it, from people in the general admissions saying he didn't have a good time. And of course, he has now actually come out and responded to some of those issues and has apologised to people who didn't have a good time. But there is a few things that haven't been addressed that I think people want to be addressed. Now, the one thing that I think has ruffled a few feathers is the fact of he is making out like this was a big charitable event when in actual fact, he actually made a ton of money from this. He definitely made his money back at least because the amount of people at the event and the price of the tickets, 100% he made his money back. So this is definitely a business move. Not only did he make money, he also gets to look like the good guy because he put on an event like this. But at the same time is there's something that's a bit more fishy in the deeper end of it. And that's what I kind of, um, that's what I'm confused by. And that's what I'm making this video for. This video is nothing to do really with how the actual event went, because I think that has already passed. That has already happened and that's been dealt with. But the one thing that hasn't been dealt with fully is the lack of pulls. Now, there were pulls. People 100% got pulls. We saw them on the live stream. People definitely got pulls. But there is a lot of people saying they were in big groups of 15 or 18 people and there wasn't a pull between them. And from what I've seen, there's a lot of people saying there is a big lack of pulls at the event. But if you also look at the other side of the spectrum, Leonhardt's channel is chock a block with videos of him opening heavy packs. Today I'm opening all heavy base set two packs. I'm opening heavy base set packs all heavy vintage packs. All heavy vintage packs. Wade packs. And this is kind of all happening at the same time. His videos where he's been opening heavy packs have all been very recently. Don't get me wrong, he's obviously done them in the past, but this last few weeks and months, he's done an absolute chock a block ton of videos especially in the last two or three weeks he's opened a ton in the last two or three weeks so it, it kind of begs the question of were these packs weighed beforehand now if he turned up to the event with fully sealed booster boxes fair enough maybe we can all completely scratch that out of the window but at the same time as i don't know obviously we none of us know what the logistics are none of us know what the nitty bitties are but we do kind of have that looming suspicion that maybe those packs were weighed and that's quite a worrying thing i mean don't get me wrong he still gave people the experience of the pop-up shop and i assume obviously if there were cards that were pulled obviously they were holographics that were pulled so maybe it was just some boxes were weighed and they left some unweighed so that the odds of a pull were far fewer kind of like a golden ticket sort of deal I don't know. I don't know what happened, but it is something that I think needs to be addressed, needs to be answered, because the apology video that he did put out, and I appreciate that he did put that out, has sort of reflected on the negativity he's getting with the way the actual event went. But I think there's more of a an issue with the fact of the packs were probably weighed. There's no way someone can do that many pack openings with weighed heavy packs and not have a bunch of light or sorry unweighed or whatever you know you know what i'm trying to say just lighter packs left somewhere they've got to go somewhere and he's clearly not opening them so where do they go do they go to the pop-up shop we don't know so i think that's what needs to be addressed i think that's the real question in this whole event and i i'm not trying to point any fingers i'm not trying to bring any toxic sort of energy into this community i think if this has a reasonable answer fair enough but at the same time as if he did weigh the packs, that's more toxic than me making this video. So I don't know. Let's have a look and see what the evidence comes out with. Cheers. If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks.